Now friends, let us talk about an interesting phenomenon that is termed as parturition or childbirth. So, first of all, if we see parturition also means childbirth. The full term of the development of an embryo in the uterus is called as gestation. Now, in humans, it lasts for about 280 days as we already know. And at the time of birth, the baby is pushed out by the powerful contractions of the muscles of the uterus. And these powerful contractions of the muscles of the uterus are caused due to the hormone that is oxytocin, which is released by the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland. And when the child is coming out, it will be giving out its head first. So, whenever the child is getting born, the first stage that occurs is the head first stage during which the head of the baby is given out through the vagina. Now, after this, if we see friends that in a few minutes when the baby is taken out, the blood vessels in the umbilical cord will be getting shrunken and when the blood vessels get shrunk, they can be tied and cut. After about 15 minutes, the placenta breaks from the uterus and is expelled out as after birth. Uterus contracts and gradually becomes back to the normal in a few days. Now the newborn which is born will be announcing its arrival by letting out a sharp cry. And this cry of that baby is the nature's cleansing process or the clearing process of the baby's respiratory passage. Now friends, after this, we shall be taking a look at a very beautiful video which will be making it more clear about the process of childbirth or vaginal birth. So, thank you so much. Let us take a look at the video first before we end up with this module. During a normal vaginal childbirth, the first stage of labor lasts for about 12 to 19 hours and it starts when the baby settles lower in the pelvis. In response, the cervix begins to efface or become thinner and dilate or widen. Then the amniotic sac ruptures giving out a mucoid fluid. The cervix dilation is brought about due to a hormone termed as relaxin which is released by the placental disc. The cervix fully dilates and the baby's head moves towards the opening of the cervix. Here when the baby's head is moving out of the cervix, the upper half of the uterus actively contracts and for this contraction, we have a hormone responsible, which is oxytocin. This hormone is released by the posterior pituitary gland, which is also known as the neurohypophysis. The lower half of the uterus remains relaxed to push the baby outwards. In a normal vaginal birth, the head of the baby moves outwards first. Thus, it is the head first stage. So, the head moves out through the vagina which is also known as the birth canal. Once the head moves out completely, the body moves out by passing the shoulders one by one. Once the baby is out, after a few minutes, the umbilical cord is cut. And due to further contractions of the uterus, the placenta which is there is given out of the uterus as an afterbirth, thus completing the childbirth. Once the child is out, the child gives out its first cry. This cry as we know it is very much necessary for the opening of the respiratory passages of the child. Thank you.